I'm Patrick Grant and I'm standing in a field in Blackburn where we're going to grow some flax in an amazing groundbreaking project. We're going to attempt to create a completely sustainable textile system here in the centre of Blackburn. We're going to grow flax and woad. Flax gives us linen, woad gives us indigo dye. We're going to take our flax, we're going to extract the linen fibres, we're going to spin some yarn, we're going to weave some textiles, we're going to dye it naturally and we're going to make denim and we're going to make some jeans out of that here. So Blackburn is going to be the town that grew its own clothes. You can tell from the Obviously it looks dry on the top, but there's absolutely loads of moisture down there. And, and when you firm the seeds down, that moisture will draw, draw its way on up through. So, so they, should, they should grow really well here. Of course, the heat from the sun as well, that that's helps the moisture soak into the seed. The plant is called woad. It's our native source of indigo. So all over the world they have different sources. Um, the same pigment is in different plants. It will be grown all around here and I'll be showing people how to extract the pigment later on during the textile biennial in October. I think the community will appreciate now what this project is about because it was a dump. The, the, the flight tipping was at the highest. It's a beautiful area. You can do a lot of things with it. And this project, I think it will enhance this area. We're clear in the site of years and years of debris uh, part of the project obviously is about growing the flax and the woad but partly it's also about creating an amazing green space here in the middle of Blackburn for this community. So we've got people from the community here helping us create an amazing natural space that people here can enjoy for years and years to come. Got the very kind uh, students from Blackburn College construction course, level two and level three, putting up a picket fence. A bigger level than that. Since we were last on site, John, our friendly farmer, has come along and, and rolled everything. So we need to we need to we need to roll it so that you get a really good uh, close contact between the seed and the soil. Also, fortunately, we've had a bit of rain. Tuesday morning, I woke up at six o'clock in the morning and it was raining in Preston and I thought, fantastic, our field is getting watered. And it rained again, uh, it rained a couple of days this week, a little bit, but so perfect for, for germination. Hopefully, uh, within another week, we'll start to see the first of our flax seeds poking their little heads up above the soil. It's looking good, the flax is coming up. Woad is a little more elusive, I'm not quite sure what's happened to the woad. It's possible that um, the birds have eaten quite a lot of it. It might not have been rolled quite soon enough. Um, so we're gonna start replanting. We've replanted the little border behind here and another little strip down there. Um, we've also got that reserve site with our um, second crop of flax and woad, so it's all good. We're doing a the third of three workshops for the Homegrown Homespun project. We started on Monday with spinning. Wednesday I came down and did a load of natural dyeing with everybody and we dyed the yarn that we'd spun. And then today we're weaving it into the banners and it's all about getting people outside, in nature, chatting to others and getting creative and making stuff with your hands. It just, it's, it's fun. We're harvesting the flax and laying it on the ground to ret, which is rotting in effect. Uh, this is the process, it starts to break down the outer edge of the plant so that it starts revealing the fibre, makes the processing a bit easier. And so this is the end of the life cycle of this plant, which is a kind of um, auspicious day, to, a lovely sunny day to be doing it. I mean, there is a real, there's a real art to producing good quality linen, which none of us really know when to pick it, how to plant it, what the weather's been doing throughout that period. 
you know, knowing how much rainfall there's been, how much sun there's been. Obviously, this is a natural, this is a natural fibre, and you know that that is something that is learnt over years and years and generations and passed on. So yeah, it'll be probably probably six to eight weeks before we've got usable cloth. Um, and even then we'll only in that space of time we'll only have quite a small amount so we'll be doing probably quite a small pair of dungarees or something oh, is that, is that the plan? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the current plan for our tiny little model over there oh. <laughs> i mean the, the the project is all about you know raising awareness of a variety of things and among the things it's worth raising awareness of is just how much it costs the earth to produce clothing so it's all about persuading people to buy less, use more, recycle, repair, reuse, all that sort of good stuff. We're going to turn the flax so that it rots on the other side, it rots evenly. And we're going to take some big long poles and turn it in rows. Um, and yeah, maybe gather it together so that we can then start cover cropping the rest of the field.